So we've got seven boxes that represent the seven decades of people's lives, well roughly, and each box is a marble run. You put a marble in the top and it takes a certain amount of time to go from the top to the bottom, and the amount of time it takes reflects the cost to the NHS of that age group. So we were really lucky that um, John Appleby from the Nuffield Trust was able to give us a graph of the data from one year old to a hundred year old of how much it costs the NHS for the person in that age group on average. So for a 90 year old it's uh, £10,000, so that's 50 seconds, so you watch it go through, it takes a long time and you feel like in a sort of intuitive sense like how much that costs and for the 20 year old they're quite cheap because they're young and and healthy so uh, it's quite quick, it only takes uh, 10 seconds to go through. So the big challenge is to get the ball to stay in a relatively small box for a long period of time. Some boxes were relatively easy, so like getting a ball to travel in five seconds that's uh, through a box that's about a meter high, it's not so difficult. But some of the later boxes, the ball had, to, the little marble had to stay in it for 50 seconds. So what we had to do is come up with various tricks in order to delay the ball here and delay the ball there while keeping the, the interest of the, of the viewer uh, at its peak. It was much harder than we anticipated, partly because it's really hard to draw a design because we don't know how marbles move and the physics changes all the time and we can't predict exactly what's going to happen. So it's not like we could design it and then just build it. It was a very iterative process. Build it, build it again, build it again. We really wanted to have like a really uh, clear expression of data because sometimes people get overwhelmed with charts and graphs um, and often in art installations you have people trying to communicate something uh, but it doesn't really work, it's very really inaccessible. So we really want a really clear, to the point uh, way to you know, find out the state of how much people cost to the NHS. Up halfway through the exhibition, I got first-hand experience in how great the NHS was. As I was trying to clean a glue gun, I cut my, I, I severed um, the, the nerve of my finger and had to call an ambulance. The ambulance came within 20 minutes, they took me to the hospital, it happened at 12 o'clock, and by 4 o'clock I already had a one hour long microsurgery. Three doctors on top of my finger, I saw about seven nurses and by four o'clock I was done. I got first an experience of how great the NHS was and also how expensive. I found out later that just calling an ambulance was 1500 pounds to the NHS. So this installation will also give you a taste of that, how actually expensive the service that we all use is and we shouldn't take it for granted.